Hey everyone, it's Maddie of the Girly Geek and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're familiar around here. Um, today I'm coming at you with another plan with me for the upcoming week, um, the 11th to 17th of January. For this week I was thinking of doing a bit of a kind of monochromatic moment of these lemons from the Cool To Be Kind sticker book and also featuring some washi, this black and white grid and also this yellow is kind of what I'm thinking for the moment but I'm thinking there might also be some cute florals that I can incorporate to match the lemons, give it kind of a lemon blossom theme as well. So yeah. Um, I'm thinking I might speed up this video because I don't have a lot of opportunities to talk. My entire family is home, including the chatty five-year-old and my sister who I share the study with. So there's going to be people around and it's going to be noisy. So I think I'll just speed this up, give you some nice music, maybe do a bit of voiceover um, and show you how this came together. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started. With that now. If you've watched one of my videos before, you've probably seen me doing this first step, which is putting my planner pages into this clear plastic sleeve slash folder thingy. Basically, it's open on two sides, so I put it in so that it covers the main surface area of the actual spread um, within the vertical boxes. And then I go ahead and select my stickers and pop them onto some wax paper. Typically, it takes me a long time, so I sometimes do it before I start filming and then just focus on the placement. But since I was going to speed up this one, I was like, hey, why not film my sticker selection process as well? So I go through a variety of different books. This one is the Layered Florals book, I believe. And I'm starting to pull some yellow flowers and also some leaves that I think will suit the colors of the lemon and also complement them. It's quite rare that I actually just stick to one sticker book um, or two even. I usually just go through all of the ones that I have to find anything that matches the kind of vision that I have in my head. Um, so you'll see that I'm selecting a couple of stickers here from this detailed florals book that I actually end up putting back a little bit later because they didn't really suit the vision that I had. Um, especially that little yellow box with the gold border that didn't really fit the style I had in my head. But at the beginning, it's all about pulling things together and seeing how they work, um, which is kind of a trial and error process for me. So I pull things, see if they suit what I'm feeling like doing, and if they don't, I put them back. Um, it's pretty simple, I guess. Well, there was quite a bit of yellow in this book that I did like and did feel suited the lemons. I actually ended up changing my mind because they didn't really suit what I wanted, especially these ones that had gold. You can see I'm putting them back because gold just didn't really fit with what I had in mind. The image in my head was kind of of these lemon and floral clusters and also some that involved like colorful boxes, um, but yellow ones. Since the colorful boxes book doesn't actually have any yellow, I was just scouring for shapes from any other book I could find, but I did like these kind of rounded bottom ones that I found in, I believe, Girl Power, and those fit the vision that I was going for. So they had the white inside, which is exactly what I wanted to have a bit more white space considering I would have a lot of, you know, decorative elements around with the florals and lemons. I just didn't want it to feel too crowded by having like a lot of blocked color, like filled in color on top of the, you know, the filled in flowers and lemons. Does that make any sense? I'm not sure. But that's what was in my head anyway. So I was able to find some of what I was looking for in this Planner Babe accessory pack that I just used. I pulled a checklist and a box as well, and then I went ahead and started pulling the lemons. At first I only grabbed a few because I was like, let's be, um, 
let's not get out of control. But then I realized that since there's only one page of the lemons anyway, it's better to use them all up rather than have a like a half done spread, I guess. Like go big or go home, am I right? <laughs> I tend to always start my planner spreads wanting something minimal and then I just get way too carried away with stickers because like I see a sticker I'm like ooh pretty and then I can't shake the idea in my head of having it incorporated. I have no self-control when it comes to stickers. Um, I'm good at controlling myself when it comes to not buying too much. I'm good at that. Like. I did a no spend for like a large portion of last year, but I'm not great when it comes to the ones that I own because I'm like, I may as well use them. I've never actually finished a whole book yet because as I said, I go through um, various ones for each spread, but I used a lot and that's one thing I want to work on in 2021, which is embracing a little bit of more white space and trying to be a bit more conservative perhaps with my stickers. Yeah, I'm gonna try and be a little bit more minimalistic with my spreads, but um, I don't know if that will happen because it's just my personality. I have a, I was gonna say I have a big personality. I don't. I'm a pretty quiet, laid back person, but when it comes to, you know, style and like my creative vision, if I like something, I know I like it, I'm gonna do it. So yeah. We'll see how that minimalism thing goes, but um, I don't have high hopes. I'll try my best, but I also, I think that's one of the things I love most about my spreads is that I pick a theme and then I do it, I execute it, and I do it well, I think. I would like to think so. I don't know. You'd be the judge. I think I'm a bit biased. So as you can see, I've started doing the layout of the stickers. I try to come up with different little clusters. Um, so typically clusters of just decorative items like the one I'm working on in the lower right corner now. And also ones that feature the boxes like the ones you can see with the arched kind of boxes and the washi. Those are the more functional clusters that I do. And then I have more decorative clusters. And then in the white space, I tend to find places to put, you know, my checklists, to-do lists and things like that. That's kind of like how I structure my spreads. Does that make sense? I find it easiest to come up with these clusters and then place them around, find where I'm happy with them and then fill in the rest of the space or work with what's left of the space. At this point in my spread process, you can see I've mostly figured out where everything's going to go, but I was kind of thinking about finishing touches and just trying to fill in anywhere that I felt like I needed something else, any space that was sparse. I'm pulling a bunch of extra little headers to kind of finish off the spread later, but also trying to work in some last little half florals just to make things feel more finished because I didn't feel like they were. And lastly, I'm just finding a spot for this hexagonal little box as well. So, I just finished laying everything out. Um, as you can see, I pulled stickers from a bunch of different books. I had Girl Power, Detail of Florals, Called to Be Kind, um, a little bit of layered florals and also Planner Babe accessory book um, and yeah I believe that's it and then I incorporated some of the grid washi as well. I'm pretty happy with the layout now so I'm gonna go ahead and transfer everything onto the paper itself. So here we have the finished layout. I'm actually so happy with how it turned out. I think it's so fun and fresh and summery, which is 
exactly what I intended. I think the flowers and the lemons just scream summer because it's summer here in Australia and also this quote about sunshine it feels very apt. Um, the only really th things that I wanted to add were these little um, headers. So I think I'm just going to put this one over here. And then this one. I'm not sure where. I was thinking here and then I would do a list there. But I can move this um, later on if I really need to. So yeah, let's put that back into my planner. I don't use a whole lot of yellow in my spread, so this was truly a little bit outside of my comfort zone. But once I got that idea in my head, after seeing the lemons in the Cool To Be Kind book, and thinking of um, lemon and flowers to make lemon blossoms, once that idea came into my head, I simply could not shake it. So I think this is very cute and summery and very bright, which I need in my life right now but yeah this is super cute really fresh and I'm really excited to see what it looks like after the pen I'll give you guys some close-ups so yeah that is it for this video I really hope you enjoyed it as per usual let me know if you liked this spread and if you like more monochromatic looks or if you like when I use like a bunch of different colors um, and I'll be sure to keep that in mind for the other videos I make um, and also let me know what kind of spread you're going with for this week because I'm running out of inspo like before I had the idea for this spread I honestly had no ideas at all so yeah let me know what you're going to do and maybe I can grab some inspo from you and I will see you guys again very soon because my planner setup video should be coming out later this week. Um, I've got almost everything. I'm just waiting on one final package that was delayed, which was really annoying. But yeah, I'll have my planner setup video later this week. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.